What's up, language challengers? So the first two weeks of my journey um, passed by very quickly here in Vietnam, but now it's time for the next adventure that is Korea. So let's go. Well, that was quick, huh? Showtime. Before we start the video, just a little quick note. I finally did something that I've always wanted to do since my teen years or since I've I started watching anime, I guess. Are you ready? Three, two, one, a bam! Ooh, surprise, surprise. Do I look like a Korean K-pop star? <laughs> you wish. Uh, shut up. Okay, that being said, let's start the video. Te hostel hostelun uh can you tong demon e a tong demon kinjo e so uh chonare mm kwang chang si chang e kasso tomro uh hangro boya like chicken feet uh tomro chicken feet bogos uh the texture was um a tom isang so the pelo and so Ah, uh, 근데 근데 떡볶이랑 떡볶이랑 아 uh, 닭탕 좀 정말 맛있어요. 네, mm, I love that. But um, yeah, enough about food. So one of the main tourist attractions in Seoul is the Tang Tok Kung, which is one of the five royal palaces in Seoul. Um, you will see a lot of people wearing traditional Korean clothing called Hanbok. You can rent those at quite a few different places in Seoul. And yeah, I was very surprised of how huge the palace area is. So pretty, pretty nice. Another typical tourist spot is the Seoul Tower, um, located in the Namsan Park. So I went there with my whole, like with my backpack and my whole equipment. So three cameras, my huge laptop and everything is like about 10 kilograms. And so I went there, right? And then I realized that the path was going up and up and up. And then I took out my like, tourist guide again. I was like, oh, so the Namsan Park is a little mountain. Oops. Yeah, so I decided to walk all the way up. It took me quite a while. And while I was walking up there, almost dying, uh, I saw a lot of like elder people casually walking by, right? And uh, even working out, so that was uh, embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I spent quite some time up there and finished editing the first travel vlog, which was about Saigon. way down I used the cable car and uh, since it was quite close to the Myeongdong area I decided to go there and check it out there are tons of shops like fashion beauty also restaurants what and whatnot and um, usually at the evening there are some like food street food market so that was pretty delicious In the evening, it was party time. Well, not really. <laughs> this is what I did. Jingo <sighs> soso. No, the um, actually, I had to prep for a um, concert that which was right after my travels. So yeah, this is what I did most nights. Tam nare a Hongdae so. 음, 한국 친구하고 만났어요. 네. 우리 같이 핑수 먹었어요. 아, 맛있어. 그래서 처음으로 어, animal coffee place 동, 동물 카페에서 
동물 카페에 갔어요. 네, 재미있었어. These little bastard uh, raccoons always try to like search for things in your pockets and try to steal those things. So uh, there were also um, dogs there. So that was a nice combination. So there are tons of very interesting coffee places in Seoul, such as this one. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop. You can get freaking devil fruits as uh, cakes there, so that was pretty cool. Hongdae in general is one of my favorite places because there's this pedestrian street where you can find different types of artists like musicians, dancers and so on. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I do these music covers once in a while. Boom, right here. And if you're an absolute beginner in Korean and want to study a little bit, here are some very basic videos. So yeah, the next video will be uh, about Tokyo, my last stop of this travel thingy. And then I will go back to language-related stuff. So stay tuned. 
very exciting things coming up very soon. So peace out. See you next time. Bye.